In this lesson, we are going to be looking at a uh, question 2B on the May 2012 CSET math paper. Now here, they have given us a simple equation to solve for x. So here we have it, 2x minus 3, all divided by 3, plus 5 minus x, all divided by 2, and that is equal to 3. All right. Now, an easy way of looking at this, basically what we have here, we have some fractions here. So to solve this easily, we are going to just simply turn all the terms or everything into a fraction really. Okay, so we have a 3 here by itself, so we can simply convert the 3 into a fraction by putting it over 1. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all of this into a bracket, okay, because I really want to get rid of my fraction so that I have a simple linear equation working with, all right? Now I'm going to look at my denominators and I'm going to find the LCD, which is the lowest common denominator. Now I have a three here, I have a two here, and I have a one there in my denominators. So the lowest common denominator of three, two, and one is six. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide through by my denominators uh, to get rid of the fraction in the equation. So I'm going to simply say three into six goes two times. So what I'm going to do with that, two that I've gotten, I'm going to multiply it by my numerator, which is 2x minus 3. Okay, I'm going to put back my sign here, which is a positive sign. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to say 2 into 6 goes 3 times. And I'm going to use that 3 to multiply my numerator, which is 5 minus x. Okay, so there I have it. And let's close that bracket. So this is equal to, I'm going to say 1 into 6 goes 6 times and 6 threes. That will give us an, an 18. All right. So really, my friends, if you notice what we have here, we have just gotten rid of the fraction. So it looks a bit easier now on the eyes. Uh, we have a simple linear equation. That's what you call this now that we have working with. So now let's simply just expand the brackets and solve for x. All right. Now to simplify this, I'm going to simply use the 2 here and I'm going to multiply it by my 2x there. And I'm going to use the 2 again to multiply by my negative 3 there. So really what I have here is 2 times 2x. That will give me a 4x. Okay. And then 2 times negative 3, that will give me a negative 6. And simply I have a positive sign there, so let's just bring it back there. And I'm going to say 3 fives, that will give me a 15. And 3 times negative x will give me a negative 3x. And all of this is equal to 18. Now do here, I'm just simply going to group my like terms. So if you notice, I have a positive 4x there. So let's just write that back down there. And I have a negative 3x there. So I'm going to subtract 3x here. Okay. And then I have a positive 15. So let me just put back my positive 15 there. And I have a negative 6 here. So I'm just grouping numbers so that we can just, just the ease of calculation. All right. So 4 x minus 3x that will leave us uh, 4 minus 3 that will leave us with 1 so obviously we have an x there and 15 minus 6 here that will leave us with a positive 9 all right and that is equal to 18 all right my friends now from here this is pretty much simple i have a 9 here being added to my x so i must do the opposite of addition to take it to the other side of the equation sign so here i am going to say x plus 9 all right and to move this 9 i'm going to have to do the opposite of addition which is sub to subtract 9. Now what you do to one side of the equation you must do it to the other side. So here I will have an 18 minus 9. Okay so obviously a positive 9 will cancel out with a negative 9. So therefore I have x is equal to 18 minus 9 and that will leave us with a 9 and and that's pretty much our answer and it's really that easy my friends however feel free to leave a message or a comment if you're not sure and i'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye